Well, tomorrow marks 50 years since NASA put a man on the moon. It was an accomplishment that started years earlier as the U.S. and Russia raced to be the first to put a human in space. In the middle of it all, Ed Dwight was set to become the first black astronaut. The Denver man is now a prominent sculptor. CBS 4's Karen Morfitt sat down with him. Art was my deal, and engineering was my sidebar. Before Ed Dwight was sculpting iconic black figures in his Denver studio, he was one. I got this letter uh, asking me if I wanted to, well, if I'd consider uh, uh, going to experimental test pilot school and becoming the first Negro astronaut. And I thought it was crazy. Handpicked by President John F. Kennedy in 1961, he left a budding military career for the astronaut training program, a decision that didn't go unnoticed. The front page of the newspaper that I was going to do all this magic stuff and go to the moon and all this, you know. And so I was getting all this publicity and I hadn't done the damn thing yet. <laughs> Dwight says not everyone agreed with the push to get him into space. They have seven of these guys. And they became the, the world's heroes. I mean, supermen without the red S on their chest, uh, you know? And so now, within two years later, President comes up with this idea of putting a black guy in the middle of this. He was on his own in training and often the target of discrimination and racist attacks. After 50 years of thinking about it, it was crazy. It didn't keep him from graduating, making him ready for space. Kennedy still had the, had the masterful control of all, all of this. So, I mean, I just felt, well, I got a savior here. But that all changed uh, uh, on November 22, 1963, when he got killed. Dwight never made it to space, left NASA, and found his way back to his first passion. Today, he celebrates NASA's accomplishments, but has a different perspective on that leap for mankind. I kind of revel in it to, the, to these, not because I have anything to do with it at all. But you know, it's you know, it's a land, it's a landmark thing uh, about uh, what man can do if he wants to do it. Now, Dwight actually started his military career here in Denver at what was then Lowry Air Force Base. And although he never earned the title astronaut, he has written a book about his experience and is featured in the PBS miniseries um, that airs this weekend called Chasing the Moon. You can watch for that on PBS. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.